Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I uh, went to my daughter Courtney's and hung out with her, Harley, uh, the roommates, and a couple friends, and it was a very nice day. Um, <clears throat> spent, got back late, well, well, yeah, yes, it was a little crazy. Um, took a nap, woke up, and started decorating. And, uh, just my mind's been all over there, all over the place since I started decorating. Um, but I got this, before I cut the lid off, it's a $1 wine bottle, little Santa hat, and a little scarf. I picked that up earlier today because I was looking for something to do with this. I got this bottle uh, from a yard sale a couple years ago. Um, my parents have also cut and done their own. See how this is drilled into the glass. So I have a couple that they made personally, they made a whole bunch of them. So I got two of those. So I got to get them up and, and, uh, plugged in and displayed. This one is, um, a plug. It's not battery operated like the ones that they have. So the more I look at it, the, the more I realize I don't like this. Not a big fan of this. It's, I don't know if you guys can really tell. But it's kind of like just a big sticker, you know, and it's kind of like peeling off. So I wanted to change the bottle up. Um, even though it's a green bottle, uh, still, I bought these a year ago when they clearanced out their glitter snowflakes. And on this here, there are snowflakes on here. So I thought this little hat from the top would be super cute. So that is the project that I'm doing. I've done God knows how many different things. And when you come across your stuff and you realize things are broken, um, there are so many things that are broken because in storage, like a lot of people know, I have an outdoor storage unit, not climate controlled, freezing cold, glass breaks, um, things settle, whatever. But every single year, I don't know how, everything collapses. So I had this one Big box filled with all special ornaments and sure enough I gotta take this off this is I don't know why this is even on here so the box fell and it smashed um, very important ornaments that I've had for a very long time so this was one and her wing had smashed off this is my fairy so if I can find her wing in here which I do believe it's in here I'm gonna try to fix that I don't think this is 24 karat gold Lennox. There was something hanging in here. Um, I don't think that's there, but just a bunch of different things. This was luckily some of these balls. You can't replace some of these balls, like especially one in here. I will, if I find it shortly, I'll show you. It is a handmade ornament from when my son was five years old and he's got his handprint on the ball. You can't replace them. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but when that fell over, it was secured in uh, something and luckily that did not break but this is a special ball for my town Glenn Gardner and this survived the crash which is awesome but there was a lot of things that did not survive I have um, pure crystals some of them did not survive um, so we shall say when I go through that, but right now I want to do this wine bottle and see how this looks putting my touch to it. Okay, so let's see what we do. I'm gonna try to carefully peel this off. That way there's not like a ton and ton and ton of residue. Well, unfortunately it did rip. I was trying not to completely tear it apart, but I don't know where my goo gone is. Let's see if we can get this off with rubbing alcohol.
Yeah, I'm probably going to need... Oh, no, it's coming off. I don't have a uh, razor blade, or do I? No. So basically, just use my nail and scratch this off. I thought I had the goop right next to me. something like this so we will try this heavy duty remover because I know I've used it on other stuff that noise in the background it's the dishwasher and of course this is this thing it's like a mr. clean which if you guys haven't used those those are phenomenal I wish they would throw them out in the dumpster because they're they're not like expensive but it's just an awesome thing to have and it comes with several sizes in the kit I didn't pay for it I got it free it was a dumpster find at one point okay so of course you want to clean the surface of the items that you're going to be working with And I thought it was easier if I had it plugged in than not having it plugged in. Okay. So. So the, basically the lights are going to stay there. This is going to be our back port here. Oh, that is just darling. So I took this and just popped this on here like this. Okay, I'd rather have it folding over. So for that, I'm going to add a touch of glue to the fabric and just pop that over. Okay. All right, so we got little Mr. Sienna hat. Very cute. So it kind of looks like that. And then we have the scarf. And since you're going to put this stuff on, it's probably better to do the big stuff before. All right, so this is already stitched, so that's cute. Oh, that's darling. Where's that little, I felt that little... Where is it? Hmm. Okay, so do you want it sideways? Or do you want it straight forward? Okay, I think straight forward, right? I don't think you kind of, no, you kind of want it straight forward. Okay, so then I'm going to add a little glue on the bottle here and just touch that right there. 
That way this will stay instead of it twisting all over. It'll give it just a little hold. See what I mean? So it's not like all over. Okay, so then we can take the snowflakes and then I gotta figure out where to place the snowflakes. And see, just stuck a sucker right on there. Voila! I'll start with the big ones and just see where this looks right. Hi, smoke. Careful not to. I mean, if you want them all over the bottle, of course, you're welcome to put them all over the bottle. You gonna come up here and say hello, Smokey, Smokey, Smokey? You gonna come up and say hi? Mm -hmm. Ouch. Throw a few on there. So I'm just basically placing the stickers in different random areas. You like, you know, what looks good to you. good idea to put them like all over. And these things are definitely, definitely going to stick and stay. Not sure how much these glitters were. It's Crafter Square. So I do believe that's a dollar store. And these are fantastic. I mean, these really are fantastic, guys. These are, like, really, really good stickers. I mean, just me peeling them off of here and feeling how, you know, sticky they are. I mean, yeah, these are, these are great. So, just gonna... So, this is basically my twist on no need to put it there because that's covering on the bottle i think we'll put let me see should i put a big one right there or some little ones now i come in i definitely got to get some more of these definitely want to get some more of these let's put one up right up here so you got one right there One more big one right over here. I think I'm going to add one small one right here, and this is probably done. Okay, so what do you guys think? All right, so here's my little wine bottle. And it's got, I added the snowflakes all around. And I think this looks way better than just having a plain bottle. You know, this can, okay, so I did glue it through like here and it did get to the bottle. So that's good. So it is going to stay on. So I think that is so much better than just having that little sticker on here. This is really cute. And I love anything with snowflakes, so this is like great. You know, snowflake is pretty much all um, all winter, you know, the snow. But 
this here is just that cute little Santa hat scarf with the snowflakes on. They had like a red one, like the actual, like a red glittery. I was like, no. And then I saw this, it was hidden underneath a couple. I was like, yeah, good, it didn't sell. But yeah, I think this is pretty cute. I think it came out pretty cute, right? I think so. Okay, so that is it, guys. This is my reconstructed wine bottle. So if you guys have any wine bottles that you get, um, if you're good at cutting glass and you can drill in um, holes, this is something that a lot of people, especially here in Jersey, it's huge here at the craft fairs. Um, I bought one for, oh God, I think it was like 30 bucks right before my parents decided to start making them. So I could have saved myself some money, but they really liked it. But they figured out how to drill the holes in the glass. So a lot break. So you got to really know what you're doing. And I know a couple people who do it. So this is kind of cool. See the lights in there? Yeah. Once they die out, then, you know, all you got to do is you'll have to pop the cap off here and then empty like this and pull all the strings through, um, you know, to get it out. But the only thing is that since it's got a tiny hole, you got the plug. So the plug now is not going to be able to go through. How on earth, I don't know how they fed these wires through. Because you can't even pull this out. So this is like really intriguing. Oh, okay, now I see what they did, guys. I was wondering what this duct tape was here. They cut it and they must have... Uh, soldered the little wires together and that must be how they did it very smart i thought this was just to tape it on something but hey not bad so there you go guys that is one crap down so now i have to go and start going through my ornaments and fixing them have a great one guys bye